I think that a lot of the damage has been done, clearly, um, and I don't think we're on the precipice of a bear market right now. I, I think that the fundamentals underlying the economy are still quite strong. So when you think about what, what's really worrying the market, it's, it's frankly self-imposed stuff. It's things that can change uh, in terms of how rapidly the Fed acts and, and whether they're giving too much forward guidance and whether they're going to um, raise rates too rapidly and, and stop too late in the game um, and, and extend the rate cycle farther than they should whether the, um, the trade and tariff issues are going to be allowed to fester and continue or whether the talks that are beginning now will actually lead to an agreement with China. Those things really can determine the overall direction of the market. Certainly what's going on in oil right now is a major factor in people's minds. Are, are we setting up for another 2015 where oil fell from 110 to 26? Not really, but um, people are worried. So right now there's a lot of turmoil. I think when all is said and done, though, the underlying fundamentals are good. Uh, inflation is not a real problem. And in fact, oil is coming down is actually helping that issue. Um, interest rates are not extreme yet. So right now, the fundamentals still support better valuations and, and better stock prices, but with a little turmoil going into year end. So, so Michael, those, well, that scenario, I guess, in general, that you just painted for our viewers, suggests in my mind that bonds could still be a good place to invest. I mean, little inflation, no hyper fears of growth, that sort of thing. The Fed is kind of going to be a little bit more data dependent. So are bonds a good place to be right now, whether they be on the Treasury side or on the corporate side of things? Well, you know, right now the spread, the credit spread between corporates and governments is extremely tight and has been for a long time and it can continue to be for a while. But that actually makes governments look a little bit interesting compared to corporates right now because you're not getting a lot of extra yield with, um, with corporates, especially investment grade. High yield's a different story. Um, the risk with, um, with, it, with corporate and government bonds is, frankly, whether the Fed will go too far. Um, and let's, for the moment, assume that they don't. I think bonds are a lot less expensive than they used to be, even as, as recently as a year or so ago. So, in fact, bonds are not terrible. And, and, you know, when we look at our asset allocations, we're telling our investors not to go too far either way. Don't go too much into equities. Um, don't go too heavily into bonds. You need to have both right now in reasonable proportions. And I think overall the bond market's looking a little bit better than it has in some time. All right, Michael Tyler, it sounds like it's all about asset allocation like it always is. Thank you very much for that update from Michael Tyler, Eastern Bank Wealth Management. Well, let's find out what else is going to be on people's radars today and what you're going to be talking about at the water cooler. Kate Rogers is back with today's top trending story. So what is trending? We've got a bunch of great stuff. Good to see you again, Dom. So a nearly